Thank you very much. Um, welcome to our webinar on mid-year reviews, how to make them count. So what are we going to discuss today? Well, the presentation is split into four parts and doesn't just include slides, but an interactive look at our whole school improvement solution, School IP2. Firstly, we'll have some introductions and some brief details of our partnership. Uh, secondly, we'll go on to why we need mid-year reviews and take a look at what is best practice. Thirdly, we'll show you a live demonstration of School IP and how our solutions help schools manage the mid-year review process. And finally, we'll summarise the main points and provide an opportunity to take a different look at School IP by way of a demonstration for your team. So on to our first section, which provides a brief, uh, brief introduction from me. So for those that don't know me, my name is Damien Roberts. I'm one of the directors and co-founders of a company called Deventio Education. We're based in Derby and we're an education focused software house, which is primarily responsible for developing school IP. I've shared my contact details here and please do get in touch if you want further information. There are also links here to our social media channels. We pride ourselves on keeping these updated with the latest information. So please join the conversation there. Please follow, like and share. So what do we offer? Well, School IP provides better personal outcomes for pupils and staff through joined up school improvement, staff professional development, self-evaluation, policy management and school-wide audits. We'll be focusing today on the mid-year review process within School IP and how we can make this process simple and effective for staff within schools. So let's focus on why we need mid-year reviews. Why is it important and what is considered to be best practice? Now, appraisals should be an ongoing professional dialogue, which can be fairly informal and frequent. Uh, it's a good idea, though, to have a formal sit down at this time of year and make sure that staff are on target with their objectives. It's also a good time to understand what support is needed and are there reasons that staff are not on target and could we help by offering support? Let's discuss some of the important points here. So appraisal has very negative connotations. This should not be the case. Uh, appraisal should be positive and productive. It should be a rewarding process for both parties. Through professional development dialogue, staff improve. Staff who are improving should be moving up the pay scales. Improving the quality of teaching has been proven to directly improve the outcomes for pupils. So all in all, it's a win-win scenario. Now, when is the best time to engage in a mid-year review? Sometimes mid-year reviews are part of the school appraisal calendar with time set aside for these meetings. This could be during twilight or inset. Find a quiet space without interruption from students or the telephone. It may also be at a time to accommodate the staff member when would suit them best. It's all about the quality of the conversation. So we need to put um, the staff member at ease and focus on professional learning. So how is evidence gathered currently for appraisals? Well, we know that 10%, less than 10% of schools have a solution in place to manage this process. Most schools and staff record their evidence in a paper-based folder, printing hard copies of all materials. These evidence documents may be spread out across local machines and networks, online document management, for example, in solutions like Google Docs, Office 365, email inboxes, and also in simple conversations in the corridors too. There is little centralization of this information unless it is printed as part of a hard copy folder or portfolio. 
Therefore, the mid-year review, make sure that you have all the required paperwork, print off any required appraisal, mid-year forms, and have in hand the latest observations and performance data and a sample of books or work too. This can take a little thought in terms of preparation, but will really pay off. This will become a little easier when I tell you about how easy this is to manage in school IP. The process for most schools is a laborious, time consuming paper chase. Next, there are a few things we need to consider before engaging in the mid-year review meeting. Firstly, is the reviewee on track to meet each of their objectives? If they're considered at risk of not meeting their targets, then you may wish to think about and explore intervention techniques. If you're not sure about whether the reviewee is on track or not or at risk, consult with other colleagues. Sometimes it's good to gain a second opinion. Secondly, identify if support is required and what sort of support could be offered in each circumstance. It's good to have this in mind so that the meeting is as constructive and supportive as possible. And also, are the pupils on target and are intervention techniques being used where appropriate? So mentoring or coaching, what sort of coaching is appropriate? For example, running a weekly observation and feedback session, focusing on key aspects could, could target improvement. Identify suitable candidates to mentor others and check on their availability. Being prepared will pay dividends in the mid-year review meeting. So make sure you have these conversations early. It's also important during the meeting to keep focused. Conversations can often go off on a tangent. Keep the conversation focused on the key objectives of the meeting. The reviewee may feel the targets are too challenging. Focus on ways to simplify the objective. And don't dwell on the immovable school targets. Look at how we can help with meeting these targets. Break down broad targets into smaller actions, which are perhaps easily, easily achievable and encourage and inspire your staff. Lastly, say thank you. Any review meeting where appraisals are concerned can raise anxiety levels on both sides. So be supportive, focusing on the professional development. Once again, encourage and inspire those staff to succeed. So then this brings us to school IP. So what is school IP and how can it help? Well, school IP is a web based and mobile application which brings together staff appraisal and professional development linked to improvement planning, self evaluation, policy management and school wide audits. Staff can record a professional dialogue with their line manager and upload supporting evidence towards achieving their objectives and standards. Best of all, there's a mobile app that simplifies the process of gathering evidence to remove the burden for teachers. School IP is a whole school improvement tool which empowers staff with the information they need in order to improve. There are three key elements which include planning and implementing and evaluating and then bringing about the improvement. The idea is that less time is spent gathering data and more time spent analysing the current position of the school. Now, School IP is currently in use at over 700 schools and colleges across the world. We also work with over 60 multi-academy trusts too. So what do schools uh, say about school IP? Well, this is a quote from Mike Donahue, who is the chief executive officer at the John Taylor Multi Academy Trust in Staffordshire. They're a trust of 17 schools and Mike states that school IP is incredibly useful for interim reviews and appraisals. With the relevant information at hand, he says that they can make informed decisions about staff development and pay increases. 
So let's take a look at, at School IP firsthand. So here I am logged into um, the uh, school IP system and I've actually clicked onto one of my staff members portfolio here. And so with Jessica, Jessica is able to maintain all of her appraisal evidence throughout the year. So little and often, hopefully Jessica will be uploading uh, files, photographs, videos and contributing to this uh, overall body of evidence in here. Now. Staff members and their line managers can contribute to this evidence trail and they can do this using a browser. So you can log into this using any device anywhere and you can be blogging about your experiences. You can be uploading your evidence, but also you can be uploading uh, evidence from your mobile phone or tablet. So this works on both the Apple and Android uh, devices. And in here, then you can use the camera on the device to capture photographs and videos and upload that evidence as part of your professional dialogue and evidence. So this is quite powerful in terms of gathering the evidence. And of course, what's quite crucial is making this extremely simple for staff within schools. Now, as well as building, building up that evidence and that professional dialogue, we're working towards a series of objectives. We are monitoring the progress of staff in terms of lesson observations, learning walks, work scrutiny. So when I mentioned before about bringing the latest observations along with you, there's no need for any of that worry within School IP because all of the evidence is available to hand and to inform all of the conversations that are ongoing throughout the year, whether that's against the latest observations or indeed in terms of reflection against the latest teachers standards too. And in here as well, we're building up an accurate record of their CPD. The courses that have been allocated to staff, their attendance, and also in here, which is quite key, we can see the impact and the feedback on any of that training that's been received. Now, the element I want to show you today is the ability to record an interim review. So this is our mid-year review or at key points throughout the cycle, you can engage in this review with your line manager. And what you can do is you can basically add an interim review at any point throughout the process. And then in here, we can record the progress that the staff member is making. And this can be an accurate record of the conversation that was had, the note taking, and indeed the outcome uh, from that review taking place. And what's quite key here is that when we are recording, say, a mid-year review, that it takes a snapshot then of the objectives, the monitoring, so the lesson observations, the learning walks, the work scrutiny and the outcome of any of those monitoring events. The current progress towards achieving uh, the standards. And we can see an accurate record of their CPD as well. So all of the information is to hand and then is kept as an accurate record so that we can have many uh, reviews uh, within the system. So not just the mid-year review, we could have a termly review, we could have key points within the cycle where we're, tr we're checking that the uh, employee, the staff member, the teacher are on track to meet their targets for this year. So School IP really does serve as a comprehensive system in terms of managing that conversation and providing both the staff member and the line manager with all of the evidence that they need in order to engage in that conversation around improvement. So then, in summary, what is School IP and how can it help this process for mid-year reviews? Well, in summary, mid-year reviews are important because you can find out if reviewees are on track. It's an opportunity to review the evidence constructively and can also help to identify support and intervention that may be needed. Ultimately, these mid-year mid reviews are about developing staff, e.g. to improve the quality of teaching, which in turn improves the pupil outcomes, which has to be the goal for any school.
So in summary of the key points, use an online portfolio of evidence like School IP. It can take all the hassle out of your professional development portfolio, the conversations that take place, and then the gathering of all that evidence. It makes sure that rather than printing out your paper-based documentation, you take this with you. Whether you go home, whether you go off site, as long as you have an internet connection or indeed your mobile device, you can gain access to all of your uh, important evidence and the conversations. So if you're interested in finding out more about School IP, why not book a free online, no obligation to purchase demonstration? We'll be able to explore your requirements and provide a quote for your school. School IP links up with all the main management information systems, so including Capita Sims, um, ISAMS, Arbor, Scholar Pack, and WCBS, to name a few. Please follow the URL or scan the QR code to book a demonstration now. Thank you once again for your time on this webinar. We very much appreciate your time and do get in touch if you would like any further information. So thanks for watching. And if you'd like to book a demonstration, simply scan the QR code that's on screen now. Thank you.